This engine is an 18 horsepower Kohler Courage single cylinder. It's on a Husqvarna zero turn. Uh, it says Z42 18 on the side. It had a issue the customer said uh, the starter went bad. So that already immediately uh, uh, brought suspicion of the reason why the starter went bad. Um, so he replaced the starter, um, but one of the wires was shorting out against the body of the starter uh, chassis, uh, the, the main lug. Um, so that might have caused other issues when it short circuited. So I worked out all those issues and got it to even just directly fire with, I put a automotive size solenoid in there, higher capability. The other one actually welded itself open or uh, closed connecting from the current going through it when the starter shorted. And I installed another relay right there um, next to the other relay bank to provide a ground wire when the key is off only for the kill switch on the coil. And I thought the coil was bad because on the measurements of the multimeter, it, it had 9,000 uh, impedance uh, ohms. And the internet said somewhere between two to 5,000 was good. But you know, just from the practical point of view, it definitely has a spark. That's super strong. Um, and I put compression gauge in there. And it even had like ridiculous amounts of compression, which was also an, like a question. For me because like why do you have so much compression for a small engine um it was i think it was over 180 and that's a lot because the briggs and stratton's i've worked on are a lot less they're like 120 and i think that's really crank them so right now it's only doing 150 but that's because the battery's also been taxed trying to get this thing to start again. As soon as it has compression, it has a hard time cranking over. It just, that was the issue once we reinstalled the new starter, is it didn't want to crank the engine. So I thought there was something in the connection from the short circuit, but there wasn't. So it was another issue. And that led me to looking up stuff on the internet and found out that these engines have I don't know the heck the time with that. These engines have what's called uh, automatic compression release, and they use the acronym ACR. And the ACR had uh, an issue. I could I could uh, identify that it should be that I'm thinking it's that because on uh, there's another YouTube and the guy. When you're cranking the engine over slowly by hand, very slowly, you'll hear like a, like a click. And you shouldn't hear a click. See, this one's even cranking over fine now, so it's almost like... Now, it's, it's feeling like the exhaust valve gets stuck open. That's, that's what I think is the issue right now. So I was gonna... Well, I'll try to crank it over with the... Uh, fuel solenoid turned on too because I disconnected it or that's connected right now so this is what it's doing it you know doesn't even it doesn't even sound like it's getting sparked that's why I thought it was a coil too it just doesn't sound like it's getting sparked but it's so strong and there's so much I could see the fuel coming out and there's a little there's a little combustion. I see a little bit of smoke coming out, but nothing to fire it. So I'm thinking that the exhaust valve is stuck open. There's an automatic compression release and that should, 
Uh, so that's that's where we're at right now. And I just wanted to kind of have the camera going when uh, I open up the engine and see what if there's anything that I could identify right off of the, you know initial disassembly. I might have to remove this muffler from this bracket. I've never taken off these valve covers before. So this is my first time working on this model of motor. But I heard that this is a two piece. I should be able to slide this off. Okay, I already see the problem. I already, I already have identified it. Or I've seen a problem. So if I could uh, get this off, I could show, you know, still make it a short enough video to show you guys what's going on here. Just gotta bend this just to get the clearance. And I'll be getting a new gasket, so if it's damaged right there, it's not a big deal. I'll just leave this cork on there as it is. Um, so the, the rocker arm's off. You see there's no pressure. That means that either this is bent, I think there's a keeper in there, something preventing it from coming out. But what happened, here I'll show, if the camera could show it, is the valve, uh, I think it's called a valve seat or valve guide, inside that coil popped up. So if you could put compressed air, almost got it on that shot. Right there, we're dark. Right in there. Yeah, not very descriptive. But it's it's up. It's up about a half inch, and the other one's seated. The other one's all the way... Well, I don't know if it's fully seated, but it looks fully seated. So that is a problem. Is that a symptom of a deeper problem, of the ACR being fully damaged? Or is this the source? That's the question. 